through sheer hard work, to be fair. I mean, when we perform in, in London or, or Madrid or anywhere else we've performed, it's all about networking and, and talking to, the, to, to people that are doing the same thing as, as you are. So when, when we perform with any other band, we talk to them, we try and make contact um, and keep at that. And through that, we, we struck conversation with some great people and we managed to, to get this going. And so you performed on stage, same stage as a top loader as well. Uh, what was that experience like? That was amazing, to be honest. I mean, the, the, the crowd that were there to see not just us or Top Loader, but all, all six or seven bands that were on the bill stuck there throughout. Um, they saw the whole thing through and the reception was just incredible. Everyone's really energetic, everyone was involved. Um, and we, we obviously got to chat to the guys backstage and everything, really sweet guys, it's really good. Uh, you saw people there that you didn't recognize, but they were singing your songs. That's a mark of, of a band getting out there and getting noticed. Well, I guess it was so surprising to me. I mean, I was just looking, as, as you do when you're singing, you're just looking around and um, trying to get at, catch eye contact with people. And I saw a few people who I'd never seen in my life and they were just singing the lyrics. And it really shocked me. I mentioned it to the guys backstage and it was a really, really nice feeling. So for a gig like this, how do you go about arranging the set list? You're working on new material, you've been performing in Gibraltar, you've been a band for many years. How do you go about you know, putting, putting this kind of uh, performance, your slot together? It's not easy. I mean, it, it's, as it's a, a, it was a 30 minute slot, so you want to put in the most energetic songs to get the people going. But at the same time, you want to put what we consider our best songs and our newest songs. So it's a mix of all of that. We, I think we started off with two or three really uh, hard paced songs, and then we brought it down a bit put out the, the newest ones, which I believe are our best sounding songs so far to date. Um, so yeah, mixing it up and trying to find the right balance so that people don't get bored and still engage. And in, speaking of networking, you also had an interview with the BBC. How did that go? How did that get arranged? And uh, what came what came about from it? Again, like, like I said before, through, through networking, through hard work, I guess you get noticed to an extent. And we were contacted by them and it was a no brainer, obviously. Um, BBC is broadcast to hundreds of thousands of people in the UK um, and yeah it was really good it was a really fun interview some difficult questions in there <laughs> but uh, yeah we, we managed to perform uh, an acoustic song uh, and then one of our tracks was was played on, on on air as well so that gave us huge exposure so we're in February now what's 2019 got in store for Jetstream what else <laughs> <laughs> well it, it started off pretty well next month we'll, we'll head off uh, to Toledo uh, to perform a gig there then we've got in May the Lechleg Festival uh, alongside The Feeling. Um, then we've got another festival confirmed in June in uh, Dorset, uh, plus other things that are yet to be confirmed. So it's looking very, very healthy so far. Um, and I can't wait to do more stuff.